Hello boys and girls, we got a, a Maserati today. This is the Quattro Porte 2010. Quattro for four. And I guess Porte means door, so a four door Maserati. Great name. Sounds good. So I did rear brakes not a while ago to this car and the uh, spark plugs cleaned the throttle body. It had a check engine light, it was running rough. That actually uh, fixed it, just doing spark plugs and cleaning the throttle body. It had a uh, issue with the locks, no, not the lock, the, the wind driver's window and little things here and there. Didn't really bother to do any videos on it. But what got me today, the reason why I'm doing this video is because whoever was doing brakes on this car, uh, I think it was over a year ago or so, this car sits a lot. Keep that in mind. So I was doing the rear brakes and you're not going to believe it. Well, now you are because I just took the front brakes apart, but the guy came to me uh, with a, a grinding noise from the rear. And as you can hopefully see, these rotors are brand new as well as the brake pads. Now, what happened was, you know, when somebody comes to me and uh, with a brake problem, you know, when, and the car has rims, you can see right through the rim and you can look at the outside pads and see how much they're, they're worn, right? So that's what I did. There was a lot of pad left, at least 70% on the outside at least. But got it on the rack, you know, looked uh, on the inside pad and I could see that uh, the rotor is eaten. It's, no, it's, it's, uh, it's metal on metal action, right? So started taking everything apart. And well, if this was a reaction video, then it would be, at first it would be like, what? Then it would be like, really? And then it would be like, what the f The inside pad was installed the other way around. But that's not it. So fix the rear. Uh, the guy didn't have uh, parts. I was, I was supposed to do parking brakes. Uh, this is uh it's got drum brakes and uh, the rotors are drums inside as well so the, the parking brakes are inside the, the rotor so I, I would have to take it all apart so I, I put it back together parked it outside and I, as I was backing it out I heard more grinding from the front this time but didn't I thought maybe I looked at the outside rotors they were rusty I thought maybe okay it's just from sitting and the rotors are just nasty outside on the outside at least, I didn't bother to look on the inside. I was in a hurry, like I said, the guy didn't have enough parts, I knew I was gonna bring it in again. But heard the grind, parked it, whatever. Now, just just now, out of curiosity, you know, I got nothing to do, I put it back on the rack, and, you know, <laughs> I'll just show you. Do you see what I see? All right, so this pad right here is in backwards. Yes, so I call the guy and ask him what's going on, who did this, you know? So he tells me a little story. Uh, he did brakes out on the parking lot somewhere, whatever, for really cheap, you know, the guy trying to save money, you know, he's got a Maserati, he's trying to save money. So the guy comes in, he does his front pads, whatever, front brake pads, and uh, the brakes start squeaking six months later. So the guy comes back and regreases the pads. And that's probably where, when he does this. This inner pad is in backwards. Look at this rotor. It is eaten away. Outside, I mean, these, these need, need to be replaced anyways, but how do you do this? How the hell do you do this? Right? So this is the right way. Wrong way. Right way. Wrong way. How do you, I mean, how do you make this kind of mistake? You know? And then who's really at fault? What kind of a mechanic was this, this guy that was working on this car? And... If you own the Maserati, why are you trying to save money for on your brakes? Have someone do it on the parking lot. These are actually very easy to re to replace. These these Brembo calipers. All you do is 
If you want to just do pads, then you just remove these pins. There is no clips or anything like this, uh, little tiny pins over here. You have to just knock these out, knock one out, pull this out, then knock out the other. Then this pad, these pads will slide out. Before that, you can you can uh, put a, a flat screwdriver in, in in between the pad and the rotor and try to press in the pistons. You got two on each side. Then if you're going to replace the rotor, what you got to do is take these. These are Allen. I don't know, I'm guessing 12s maybe. I'm guessing right now. These two and this whole thing comes out. And then obviously this little guy here and this whole rotor will come off. And what the hell is this? And this, not to mention. I mean, seriously. Okay, guys, that's it for this one. See you soon.